Hey guys, Mr. Happy here and today we are going to discuss the new Beastman Daily Quests in Patch 2.1. This video will discuss how to unlock them, what level they can be done, how the reputation system works, what rewards you can get, and what we can expect from the future of these Beastman Daily Quests. So for starters, in order to unlock the Beastman Dailies, you must first beat Stone Vigil as part of the main scenario quests, which can be challenged at level 41 when you unlock it. After that, ensure you meet the minimum required level to accept the quests for each Beastman daily. So that would be level 42 for the Sylphs and level 43 for the Amul Ja. Once you meet these two requirements, visit the Immortal Flames in Ulda for the Emalja quest and the Twin Adders in Gridania for the Sylph quest. Complete these quests for a bit of lore behind these primal dailies as well as access to the dailies themselves. So now that how to unlock them is out of the way, what level can they be done? Well, fortunately, you can do these dailies at the levels I just listed above, which is 42 for the Sylph and 43 for the Amul Ja. At least for the first three dailies, these levels will work. This does mean you can use them to help you level up once a day, as well as get some rewards that will help you at level 50, which we'll talk about a bit later. Keep in mind there are, are higher level quests for the Beastman that can be unlocked by raising your reputation. I know that at rank 2, you need 45 for the Sylph and 46 for the Amul Ja. Speaking of the reputation system, how does it work? What is it? Those of you familiar with other MMOs may know how the reputation works with factions. You complete quests for a faction and you gain reputation with them. When you gain enough reputation, you will rank up with said faction, which can give you access to new quests and rewards. Since you can only do a certain number of quests per day, in this case a maximum number of 6 across both Beastman factions, it can take quite a while to reach a maximum rank. In Final Fantasy XIV, when you gain reputation, it's not much different. As stated above, you will get a total of 6 quests to gain reputation per day, and at rank 1, with each faction, that allows you to do 3 quests for each. After ranking up, you will gain access to 3 additional quests per faction. This means you can decide to do all 6 quests with a single faction to boost your reputation with them faster. The quests unlocked by being a higher rank are also a higher, le higher level, as noted above, but they also have higher rewards. Oh, and in case you're wondering, you can gain reputation with each faction equally. You don't have to worry about your Grand Company allegiances or doing quests with the other faction. They are completely open. The quests themselves are nothing groundbreaking. Kill a few enemies, destroy some objects, use items on certain enemies, the usual stuff. It'd be nice to see some unique dailies in the future, but I have a feeling that, at least for these first two, they're just getting their foot in the door. Granted, this means dailies don't require a lot of time per day to complete, so they are very accessible to everyone. Well, minus that one sylph that requires a fate, that one takes forever sometimes. Uh, yeah, Square Enix, don't do that. <laughs> so what do these basic quests give for rewards? Uh, well, if you're leveling about 8 or 9k EXP per quest, which isn't bad considering how quick they go, they also reward about 500 to 700 gil a pop, so that will at least pay for your repair costs for a day. And most importantly are the Elegant Tomestones, Tomestones of Philosophy, the Reputation, and the Elemental Shards. The Tomestones can be used to buy gear at level 50, so doing these while you first hit the minimum level, if it's your first character you're leveling up, doing these at that level can help you give a little boost towards that goal for when you hit level 50. Also, the shards are used in crafting, and you need a lot of them, so every little bit counts. And as far as rep goes, like we stated earlier, this is used to unlock additional quests and rewards. Speaking of which... There's one other type of reward that you can do, other than the ones that come directly from the quest. In each Beastman camp is a Beastman vendor. This vendor will check what reputation rank you are with his people and give you access to several items you can buy. At ranks 1 and 2, it's only simple things like crafting materials and unique dyes. The later ranks, 3 and 4, give you access to materials for furniture, vanity pets, and mounts, such as the drake or the gubu mounts you actually use during the daily quest. So get out there and do your dailies before patch 2.2. So speak, now the reason why I said that, speaking of patch 2.2, what can we expect from the future of dailies for these factions or even the other factions? Well, it's been confirmed in patch 2.2 that, that they will introduce two new beastman camps, the Sahagan and the Kobolds. What is not confirmed is how they will handle adding these new tribes. Will they increase the cap on the quest to a higher limit? Will the Sahagans and Kobolds have their own separate 6 quest limit? What are the minimum levels going to be for the Sahagan and the Kobold quest? Will they be as friendly for characters that are leveling up? And will they e open up even more options for characters to gain EXP as they're doing those last 10 levels or so? A few questions still to be answered, and hopefully we get these answers in the coming weeks, with the next live letter being in the mid-January. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share for more Final Fantasy XIV information and videos. Of course, I will be posting other Final Fantasy videos, and in the year of 2014, some other guides as well, so be ready for that. 
Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Twitter where you can get regular updates about what I'm doing, videos I'm posting, and of course, you can ask me questions. And finally, follow me on Twitch where I do stream Final Fantasy XIV as well as classic Final Fantasy titles, and I will be streaming some other things for the year of 2014. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.